I'm going to show you how to make some felt window coverings for your car or van. These are simple, cheap, pretty easy to do, and they'll help give you some privacy and some darkness if you're camping or sleeping in your, in your vehicle. So here are some of the supplies you'll need. Um, you can use either polar fleece or felt. Uh, the black colors are going to be the most opaque and then plus they're going to be the most stealthy because from the outside it's going to look like you have a dark window tint. They're not going to show up very much. Um, the advantage of these fabrics is that they don't um, they don't require any sewing. You can cut the edges and you don't they're not going to unravel on you. So they're pretty easy to work with. After trying both, I think I like the felt a little bit better. Um, just a little slightly stiffer, thinner, a little easier to work with. Not quite as opaque as this, but opaque enough for, for my needs. So some of the other things you'll need are some good scissors, a stapler, chalk, tape measure, alcohol wipes or some alcohol. Um, not hand sanitizer, it's got ingredients in it that'll kind of defeat the purpose for wiping things off in the car. Um, as far as quantity, it depends, quantity of material, it depends on your vehicle. Um, I have a 2016 Prius V station wagon and I think when I, um, this is my second time doing this because I had a regular Prius before. I bought, I think, about three yards of felt. It costs less than $8 on sale at Joanne Fabrics. Um, and then uh, probably this time I got like three yards or so of the polar fleece and I'm actually gonna have quite a bit left over. So it sort of depends on your vehicle. So the first thing you wanna do is you're going to take your tape measure you're going to open your door and measure the largest dimension, top to bottom, side to side. Um, it's not gonna be a complete rectangle, but you wanna cut out as a large a piece as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect with a few extra inches on the sides. So bigger piece than you think you're gonna need. And then the tricky part is Kind of holding it up on the window and figuring out how to trim it to be the correct shape. Um, what I do is go ahead and get my first pieces of Velcro and attach them. So you can see here, this is like a little, oops, little half piece of Velcro. It's got adhesive on it, attached there. Got one here, one in this corner. And then attach some to your fabric. Um, it's adhesive, but for extra reinforcement, I like put a staple in there. Oh, and I forgot, wipe the surfaces off with the alcohol prior to putting, um, sticking the Velcro on, um, on the car surfaces. Also note that the surface you're putting this on, you don't wanna put it on the window and you don't want to put it on this part that's going to be covered up when the door is closed. You want to install these so that you'll have access to put your window coverings up without having to open the door of the car. Because if you've just parked and you're in a snowstorm, you're going to be much happier if you can put your window coverings up without having to um, open your car doors. So that's step one is to do the top. And then what I did was I took a piece of chalk. This originally, this piece of fabric was bigger. I took a piece of chalk and just traced around and to mark it. And then I used that to trim the size it should be. Now I want to add a few more pieces of Velcro so that it's not swinging out like this but I ran out of Velcro. But you get a general idea. Normally it would be held back, held in like that. Um, once you 
do your chalk thing and you know trim it get it the size you want for the opposite side you can just trace around the first one you did because it's going to be a mirror image it's going to be the same shape so that makes it easier um, so that's how you do the side windows and also how you do the rear hatch in the Prius we have these I call them porthole windows For those, what I did was, um, I didn't need any Velcro. I just took some black felt. I glued it onto, this is just some of, the, one of those plasticky bag thingies um, that Amazon will mail you stuff in. I put a sticker on it that I had and put D for driver's side so I wouldn't be fumbling around trying to figure out which way it goes in. And it just pops into the window. It's a deep enough recess, it just stays there, so I don't need to do anything special to hold it in. As far as the front windshield goes, I used to use one of these accordion y things, but they just see how it gets kind of flaccid over time and doesn't stay in very well. So my new acquisition is this, which we got last week at Costco for less than $10. The Prius windshield is huge, and so you definitely need to get the jumbo size. I'd resisted getting one of these before because I always thought they'd be hard to fold up, but actually it's pretty easy. So um, I think that's gonna work out quite well for me. The other thing I'd like to show you, oh, first here, check out, see that back window from the outside, you cannot see. Well, you can see in on the bottom a little bit because I don't have the Velcro on the bottom, but you, just, you can't see in, you can just see me. So it looks like a limo tint from outside. Um, the other thing it's nice to have for windows are, I just installed these yesterday, which is kind of a splurge. They're like 50 bucks if you get good ones. Um, these are the ABS um, vent shields. And these enable you to have your window cracked open a little bit. Um, but from outside, you can't tell that it's cracked open and keeps, um, so you can park your car and leave it like that um, securely, but have some air circulating if it's hot out or um, if it's raining out, you can leave your windows cracked and you won't have water coming into your car. So I think that is about everything. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments and I'll try and answer them. There are lots of good ways to cover your windows. This is just the way I found that's working for me right now. Um, thanks very much for watching my video and hope, um, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks, bye.